Recently, state budget cuts forced the closure of more than half a dozen senior citizen centers in southern Oklahoma. But tonight, there's renewed hope for some. Hello there, I'm Charlie Haldeman. And I'm Maureen Kane. In all, seven local senior nutrition centers in our area lost funding because of state budget cuts. Now, the center in Kingston is getting help from within the community. Shelby Levins is live in the Odd One Newsroom with more in tonight's top story. At Shelby. the beginning of this month, the Department of Human Services $7.4 million budget cut took effect. That closed the senior citizen centers in Maysville, Winniewood, Roth, Wapanaco, Caddo, Calera, and Kingston. But tonight, local leaders say the Kingston Center is the only one that remains locked up, but they're working to change that. Where do we go from here and how do we get there? That was the million dollar question at this meeting held to discuss the future of the Kingston Senior Citizen Center funded by the state senior nutrition program. One thing everyone agreed on, the center needs to be reopened. Something to give you hope, something to give you a place to go, you understand? People's got to have that. If they don't have that, they dead in the water. C.P. Lemon says he used the center on a daily basis for food and fellowship. The 83-year-old says he's still appalled the state sacrificed senior citizen funding. Horrendous, the most unconstitutional thing I ever heard of in my life. But Senator J. Paul Gum says he will not balance the budget on the backs of older Oklahomans. We can talk about other problems in the budget all day long. At the end of the day, it doesn't feed one senior citizen. What we need to do is focus on fixing this problem. Senator Gum says there's a deal on the table to reverse the $7.4 million budget cut and reopen centers like these with state funding. But so does Area Agency on Aging Director Kathy Gooding says the Kingston seniors shouldn't wait on the state and suggests they simply reopen the doors themselves. Just communicating to the seniors you can do this. Uh, the other six nutrition sites have done it. Community members are stepping up to reopen the center independently. Brown's Funeral Home Services handed over a $500 check and is pledging another $500 each month for the next six months. Lemon says it's going to take generous donations like that and more manpower to reopen the center. But he's hanging on to hope and is willing to do whatever it takes. You know, we're just like everybody else. We just, we just aged a little bit. Senator Gum says the budget cut can be reversed without going into a special session. Legislators would just have to agree to allow DHS to shift funds around to fill that hole and then agree to repay that $7.4 million deficit with other state funds or stimulus money next year. Now if Kingston, now if the Kingston Center stays open independently, they can apply for special state grants to fund their operations. Reporting live in the Ardmore Newsroom, Shelby Levins.